COMAP, PRESENTS, PLC functions in IntelliGen, IntelliSys and IntelliDrive controllers. The integrated PLC module allows to handle complex applications where previously only an external PLC could do the job. In controllers are 24 different types of PLC functions. The number of functions depends on the type of controller. If you need more functions, you can use IGSNT Minichip dongle, which enlarges the number of PLC functions. Typical usage PLC functions are in systems with more mains incomers, complex installations where zeroing technology control is required, your ideas and wishes for internal logic. Here is a list of PLC functions, the name of the blocks, number of functions in intelligent controllers, number of functions in intelligent controls with IGS anti chip dongle, number of functions in IntelliSys controllers, and describing the functions in blocks. All list of PLC functions you can find in IGS NT application guide, which you can download from Comap website. Input in PLC functions can be any value from controller. Output of PLC function can be another function in PLC window or any physical terminal from input-output window. Limits in PLC functions can be constant limit, set point limit or any value. PLC consistory check indicates incorrect PLC configuration. PLC values in controller are 64 internal binary values. This PLC binary output can be configured to IGSNT control or external modules physical terminals. Analog values there is a 16 internal analog values. This PLC analog output can be configured as a physical analog output. PLC resource. Unsignal value that is used for timer and counter functions. Now we switch to genconfig and I show you how you can set it in a PLC editor. In genconfig is a card PLC editor. And in the left side is a list of PLC functions. First is the logical functions as the OR, AND, XOR, RS. Other is comparators. It's comparator with hysteresis, time comparator or window comparator. Mathematic functions interpolations, other is regulators with PAD regulator, ramp functions, so ramp, up, down or moving average, timer modules and other as analog switch, force history, force protections and counter. The first of the number tell you how many functions you used the second number tell you how many functions are available. If the blocks is gray, it means when the block is not available now. In the right side of PLC editor is a list of changes. Now we put it some PLC block to editor, for example, logical function. In double click, we open window editor block and add a first binary input, for example, binary input 11, and add a second binary input. 
for example binary input 12. If you want to add a third binary input, you can click on the plus and add for example binary input 13. Here is the output of PLC. If we want to invert the output, just a check this check button. And here you choose function R or end. You choose R, click OK. Now we have a PLC function R with three binary inputs. At the second block. And connect the binary input with binary output function R. And we join a second binary input with a binary input 13. If you want to add other binary input, just click on the button plus and add a third binary input, for example, binary input 14. Now we want to invert a binary output, just a check button, and we want to invert binary input, a second binary input. Now we joined a PLC function all and define a PLC function add. Final is defined a binary output of PLC function and which is not defined now. Now we want to go to input output card and define a binary output 1.2 of PLC function and click on the input output card and in binary outputs we want to define for example binary output 11 which you choose from the list PLC function and choose a PLC binary output 1.2, which is binary output of function AND. Now, when we come back to PLC editor, you can see that the binary output 1.2 is defined with a binary output 11. It's a defined function OR. Define a function AND. Now we want to check consistory of PLC function. Just cl click on this button. It's OK, no problems. When we delay, for example, connections between third binary input N and binary input 14 and click on check consistory again, you can see there is a problem. So we connection again and check again. Now it's all it's okay and we can write it to a controller. That's all from me about PLC overview and you can watch to other part about PLC in Comac controllers. Thanks for watching.